Hi, I'm Brian Cleffer, and today I'll go over two common types of microscopes and the basic steps to operate each. There are two types of microscopes that might be in your classroom, the compound microscope and the stereo microscope. Here are some tips and tricks to help you successfully make the most of your microscope. First, let's talk about the difference between the compound and the stereo microscope. The compound is used to look at micro objects with higher magnification. And the stereo microscope has two eyepieces and two objectives so that you can see in stereo. The stereo microscope is used to look at macroorganisms. Now let's discuss the proper way to use a compound microscope. Remember, this microscope is different from a stereo microscope in that it is used to view microorganisms. The different parts of this microscope include objective lenses which increase the magnification of the specimen, the aperture is the opening that varies the amount of light coming through the stage, the condenser is a lens that concentrates the light source, the iris diaphragm is the device that regulates the amount of light from the illuminator, the coarse and fine focus knobs are the focus adjustment controls. To use a compound microscope, first set it on a solid surface and plug it in. Make sure the excess cord is out of the way. Make sure that all the eyepieces are clean. You must have clean eyepieces in order to view the image clearly. If your eyepiece is dirty, remove the loose dirt with a blower brush or camel hair brush. Then you can clean the eyepieces with an alcohol lens cleaning solution. Remember, it's easier to apply the liquid cleaner to a tissue, not directly to the eyepiece. To prevent your eyepieces and objectives from getting dirty or dusty, keep the microscope covered when it's not in use. This is the same process can be repeated for the objectives if they are also dirty. First, dial the dimmer to its lowest setting. You'll use low light levels when starting out because the lower objectives are bright and less light is needed. Then adjust the disc or iris diaphragm to regulate the amount of light coming through the stage. Start with a less opened aperture with low power objectives. Now rotate the lens turret to the lowest objective power, which is normally 4x. Then place your specimen on the stage so that the light will come through the area that you want to study. Turn the coarse focus knob until the image is in focus, then turn the fine focus knob to fine tune the image. At this point you may need to adjust the light to improve the image. After adjusting the light, you also need to adjust the focus one more time. When your image is in focus and it has enough light, begin to magnify to the next objective. Follow the same steps in lighting and focusing to improve the image. Here's a tip. As you magnify the specimen to a higher objective, you will need to adjust the light values. Remember, higher power will need more light and lower power will need less light. However, be sure to use caution with the high power objectives when focusing. The objective will come very close in contact with the specimen and could break the glass slide or damage the objective lens. When you're finished viewing the specimen, unplug the scope and place a dust cover on the scope. You can find these and similar microscopes at www.carolina.com.